This is the Sunday School lesson for September the 15th in the year 2024. And it is the baptism of Jesus. This story has to start with John the Baptist. Do you remember we talked about John the Baptist being in his mother's womb and him jumping before in the womb before Jesus, when Jesus came into the house in his mother's womb? This is the same John the Baptist. And when John the Baptist grew up, he lived out in the wilderness. He ate bugs locusts, wild honey. He wore camel's coat, a piece of a camel skin, and had a leather belt around his waist. He looked different than everybody else. He acted different than everybody else. And he would go out in the wilderness by the Jordan River, and he would preach that people needed to repent and be baptized. And that that was the only way for them to be right with God. The only thing, the other thing that he preached was that, um, that the Messiah was coming behind him and that the Messiah would be so powerful that he would not be, John the Baptist would not be good enough to even carry the Messiah's sandals. So um, he was out there in the river and he would preach and people would say, what does it mean to repent? And he'd say, repent means to turn around. And so they would say, yes, we confess our sins. We have been, we have been wicked towards the poor. We have been jealous. We have been selfish. We have hurt other people. And when they confess their sins, he'd take them down to the river and he baptized them in the water. And then they'd come out and they were new people. And they said, what should we do? And he says, well, if you're a tax collector, don't take any more money than what you're supposed to. If you're a soldier, then don't be mean to people and just be content with the amount of money you're getting. If you have two shirts, share one with somebody else. If you have enough food for your family, share with another family. He was telling people how to live. Well, the scribes and the Pharisees and the Sadducees came out to him too. They were the religious leaders of that day. And they said, Hey, what are you doing out here? Are you the Messiah? He said, I'm not the Messiah. The Messiah is coming after me. And when he comes, I'll know who he is because um, God has told me that a voice will come out of heaven and I'll see a dove of the Holy Spirit landing on him. And he said, you religious leaders are a brood of vipers and you just need to get out of here because you're not willing to change Repent means that you're going to change and you're not willing to change. So just get out of here. And so he said, you say, oh, I'm going to go to heaven because I have Abraham as my father. And God says he's just going to cut you down because you do not believe and you do not obey God. So one day when he's out there baptizing, Jesus came. And when Jesus came and asked to be baptized, I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> Jesus came and asked to be baptized. John says, I can't baptize you. You don't have any sin. You're perfect. I can't baptize you. You could baptize me. And Jesus said, no, it's important for everybody to get baptized, to fulfill what God wants us to do. So you need to baptize me. So John the Baptist went down in the water with Jesus and Jesus was baptized. And when Jesus came up out of the water, the Holy Spirit came down and it looked like a dove and it landed on Jesus. And then God said from heaven, this is my beloved son and he makes me happy. I'm, ha I'm pleased in him. And then John knew that Jesus was the Messiah. And so he went back to the people and he said, remember I told you that the Messiah was coming? This one is the Messiah. This one is Jesus. And he pointed him out to them. The memory verse comes from Acts 2.38. Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Dear Father God, some people are baptized at, and they really understand what they're doing. And other people haven't got baptized yet. Kids that are listening to me probably haven't got baptized. We ask, oh Lord, that we might be willing to repent and to confess and say, this is what I do wrong. 
and prepare our hearts for what you want to do in us. In Jesus' name, amen.